Memphis Classic from Audi Field here in Washington, D.C., here in our nation's capital. And on the return, and already Dorian Moultrie. And the handoff to Butts, and Butts slashing through. And near the first down marker, we'll see exactly where they spot it. It seems to be crowding the line of scrimmage. They hand it off again, and the tackler met Butts right there at the third down marker. Zealous with time across the middle. The pass is complete, but well short of the first. The position on offense is the O-line and the running backs. They've got a plethora of running backs that can really hurt you, as you're seeing Jared Hunter do right now. Well, Jared Hunter, Perp is back, and Larry Scott's off third and four for the Bison. And out, that's Richie Ilaraza, who is so reliable for this Bison group. He collects FBS experience with a number of programs, Florida among that group as tripped up is Wayne Quarter. And Williams snatching it away. It was run all the way. He had an RPO opportunity. And Williams. I'd run the ball here, too. Yeah, I would run it. Instead, they pass it out of the hands and into Nashawn Hezekiah, who picks up the first down. But the ball comes loose. It's on the ground. Who comes? Another back. For the Bison in the backfield, he carries it, changes directions, finds a hole. Quentin Williams with a nice block there, just getting out of the way. Game of the 2022 campaign, Williams finds Hunter, and Hunter stays on his feet, and it's touchdown. So the Bison get on the Great board. Great job by Hunter coming out of the backfield, fakes outside, beats the linebacker on the inside, cut hard, and the and it's good off the leg of Dylan West. Play with tempo here on third down. Three receivers to the top of the screen, but finding the tight end and Brennan Brown. And Brennan Brown, the 6'6 out of Dallas, moves them in to the opening period. And there's Butts, who's tripped up after a gain of about four. And that's to show up that interior defense. This time, it's Chris Zealous calling his own number, keeping it, and Kenny Gallup, the all miac selection. Williams stands in the pocket, one-on-one -on -one coverage, and put it right there, only where Casey Hawthorne could get it. Beautifully thrown ball by Quentin Williams, playmakers. The extra point, it's up and through, and a 14-0 by two scores. Chris Zealous trying to go outside, one-on-one -on -one coverage, and how about the separation on the other side as Paul Woods push. push. <laughs> He's going sideways, but he still got in there for the score. All right, partner, I hear you on the play-by-play, -play. and these Pirates fans celebrate as they get on the board. Yeah, there. Zealous calls his own number and gets across the goal line behind great play at Howard University, so showing some life. It's through, and now it's a one touchdown ball game at 20 yard line. And it's Zealous who finds a little hole along the left side, and Zealous with a pickup. Good pocket and protection for Zealous, and the ball just dropped by Darren Butts but they're only rushing three, so they've got eight people back in coverage. You throw the ball late to the sideline. Off in time, they're able to do so, and there's Terrence Holland. And almost intercepted in and out of the hands of... At the 25-yard line. Marked him short of the first down marker on fourth and one, and no problem getting through is Jared Hunter, so keep it going. VP Kamala Harris, a member of the organization, and there is a bang bang play. Stanley Garler brings down Casey Hawthorne after that collection. Burger. I don't, I don't need bison. <laughs> <laughs> and Quentin Williams looking for Nashawn Hezekiah who drops it at the last moment. It was. And they're getting some pressure up front coming across was Richie Ilaraza, and Ilaraza on third down is getting greedy and wants more. 15. 
We said it early in the game. If it's third, he's an NFL prospect. Run to the left. Keep going to the left. If you can find success. Hawthorne cuts back and gets in. And the bison punch. Oh, you knew how, it was a setup <laughs> right there. Coming. <laughs> and they set that up perfectly for Casey. Yeah, give it to your athlete. And you know there's going to be a crease somewhere behind. And you can tell right now this Howard group since the yards. And now he lets it out of his hands. Evan King, the tight end. And right there at the sticks, those tight ends when we talked to Robert Prunty. And now keeping it on the ground. We talked about the law offices, if you will, of Butts and Burrs. And a penalty marker cutting calls, pointing them out. And Zealous again calling his own number as well. Number one in the gray unis. An 11 yard pickup. Pretty feel home of DC United. And Zealous finds it. Great timing route. Picked up. Some extra moves put on as well as Paul Woods, who quickly hiked the ball there on the carry and in for the score. Darren Butts in it. Hampton into the end zone. Cuts this lead. Yeah, so. Right now, Bunty wanted to see out of his group. The offense executing when needed. Eight plays, 60 yards. Coverage may be attack a seam. Williams going for the deep ball. We said he throws it beautifully, <laughs> and another one placed into the hands of Braylon Smith. Porter. Three to gain. The handoff, and Hunter picks it up and more on the oh, outside. Face mask. Oh. And Ooh. drag down that one certainly hurt as DeAndre. They want to keep feeding Hunter, and Hunter's trying to sniff his way into the end zone. <laughs> and he's pushing. The jump, jump pass. pass. Oh, and it's brought in. What great hands by Brennan Brown. And he's catch there from Brennan Brown, the tight end. And I said, we he better be that, that wide open if he's going to throw it. And Casey Hawthorne left the field grimacing a little bit, but a great. To Brennan Brown. And the extra point is good. Remainder of the list here on first down and making something out of nothing was Butts. And, and, and number three, I'm going to give my Howard students and got a chance to pull as Richie Ilaraza comes up with it. His oh, defender fan fell down in the face mask at the end. <laughs> and now it's Howard who's got it going. And that one threaded there. And the kick is up, and it's through. So padding that lead a little bit for on first down. And the carry oh, and that. the run, breaking loose. All down the sideline, turning on the Jets, and he's got enough juice to get in. Elijah Burris. Yeah, we said he was a power back, but yeah. did you see the vision? <laughs> one of those did you big see runs where they found a crease, and they took advantage of it. Burris. Three on the other end for Howard, but seven back the other way, put up on the board for the Pirates. <laughs> now, you had the opportunity to play for Eddie. Different uniform combinations. How much swag do they have as Williams hits him again for another big play going down the scene. And, and Tiff, <laughs> Quentin Williams, not Doug, Quentin Williams. <laughs> you know, he showed you exactly who he is, what he is, and, and, and what he can do and what he has done. Yeah, you're talking about a guy in two, two, two games. So, like I say, television certainly helps. You know, and I and I look at it now. You know, we we go and we play some of these Power Five teams, and most is a payday. But you know, back in the day, seven yards, keeping it alive on the ground. As bouncing off, Ian Wheeler getting to the outside. You see the speed, and he's punched out of bounds by Darren Burton, who has been successful in all of his kicking opportunities and you saw him do a little Uzi <laughs> verse. I just want to rock you saw that Scott has been wanting them to do in the first half which was kind of get that three and out to allow the offense to increase the lead well after Darren Butts picked up eight yards on the care zealous looking looking takes off and wisely gets down in enough time and he's looking all the way and telegraphed that one into the hands of the pick six for Ray Williams, 62 yards. But there's a flag back at the 40. We'll see exactly what it is. Number seven, that penalty's declined. First down.
Hard to uh, see from that angle, but uh, you do see the receiver. If that looms large and this oh, one. Oh, got him. And wide open. Baked everybody out on the field. And just like that, within a score, Hampton Cup. More Jay, laundry. He'd be allowed to go downfield. Two touchdowns wiped off the board. Keep this drive going. Zealous zooms it across and nearly hauled in, but it's a turnover on downs. At Free play right now, too. They get it and oh, into the hands. Touchdown. The receiver catches it. Yes, Paul Woods. He's been the dude down. And what, what a decision by Chris Zealous. We've been the real HU for the last six years of this Hold class. Well, Paul Woods, who we learned, still here this afternoon. Four receptions, 72 yards, but not so much at stake here. There's a good punt from Bickerton. And a 38-yard punt, but still very good starting. Zealous has it, right side. Skirts by, and Kenny Gallup comes up with the tackle. He figured things out here in this second half. Kenny Gallup couldn't get him, and Elijah Burris tough to bring down, and finally undercut by Clayton Perrin. The but ability to what? stay on his feet shifted. He was a home run hitter, and you see the power. He's supposed to be the more powerful back. Instead, it's Christian Zealous. Christopher Zealous, he's in, so Zealous makes the score for all. The it's a little bit dangerous when you go sideways to the line of scrimmage with your shoulder pads, but he was able to. And it is the first time all game long that Hampton has led, and they do so with. Got to pick up two. They hand it off to number two, and Jared Hunter is that, that, able to keep it going. Get to the line of scrimmage. Uh -huh. You know, the new rules change. It's going to stop right now while they set. Williams, that one ball, ball deflected, there. and it's intercepted. Oh, baby. 17 points at one point in this ball game. Hampton over Howard. Well, Hampton has had Howard's number. And they dial it up again here. Zealous, a big part.